सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू वेदांत यूनिट इंग्लिश दिस इज बसवराज सर योर बायोलॉजी मास्टर टीचर नाउ इफ आई आस्क यू ऑल ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज द द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर बायोलॉजी मोस्ट ऑफ यू वुड से सर इट इज गोना बी प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी इफ इट इज फ्रॉम बॉटनी राइट नाउ फ्रॉम द प्लांट फिजियोलॉजी मेनी वुड से द फर्स्ट चैप्टर फोटोसिंथेसिस इन हायर प्लांट्स बट मेनी ऑफ यू स्टूडेंट्स यू वुड से सर दैट चैप्टर इज वेरी इजी फॉर मी But today, students, I have a beautiful question. Yes, it's a very beautiful, well-crafted question, and which will make you think twice before answering. So, are you ready for a challenging question? If yes, quickly smash that like button and let's read the question. The question is very simple. It is a question from your photosynthesis in higher plants chapter, and it is a question which you need to know multiple concepts to understand and answer this question. Okay, and if you want to speak about a specific subtopic, it is from light reaction. It is from light reaction. The question is very simple. It says that which of the following is or are products by a plant during photosynthesis? Following products by a plant during photosynthesis, which a far red light, far red light, okay, far red light, and also mention the primary electron acceptor so they are asking you if you have a plant if you have a plant and you are adding far red light on it far red light you are supposed to tell what are the products in the case of plant and also the primary electron acceptor of that wavelength of light beautiful question no beautiful question right so i want you to see the option also only atp only atp fes this is going to be the electron acceptors this is going to be the other products and electron acceptor so you need to tell me which which or is or the product of your light reaction when there is far red light yes and also the primary electron acceptor nice students i want you to pause the video right now and try answering this question yes pause the video answer the question and go forward because now i'm going to tell you the solution let me tell you the solution now let me tell you the, let me break down the question one more time it it is asking you which of the following are products by a plant during the photosynthesis with a far red light so for, first of all you need to under, understand here is the far red light concept far red light concept far red light concept number 1 i'm going to mark the number of concepts here also for you to follow through far red light it's a much more physics chem question physics concept far red light the wavelength is generally between 700 to 800 nanometer the wavelength of far red light is generally between 700 to 800 nanometer yes all of you can agree with that now students if the wavelength is between 700 to 800 nanometer and in the case of plant there are only two photosystem that is photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 and all of you know photosystem 1 is solely present on the stroma lamella photosystem 1 and 2 both are present in the case of thylakoid and if you're wondering where are all these notes from these notes are available on my telegram channel basvara sir biology you can go get all these notes there easily right so we know there are two types of photosystem that is photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 photosystem 1 works at 700 nanometer and photosystem 2 works at 680 nanometer all of you know that all of you know that two photosystem in the case of plants one works at 700 two works at 680 one is present on the stroma lamella one into both are present on thylakoid lamella okay and light reaction happens here light reaction happens in the thylakoid while dark reaction takes place in the case of your stroma all of you know the basics now let's come back to the question now the question is asking you far red light is added on the plant and its wavelength is are between 700 to 800 nanometer now think logically think logically if the light wavelength is more than 700 do you think your photosystem 2 is going to be functional obviously not because the wavelength of light which photosystem 2 maximum absorption happening is 680 nanometer so photosystem 2 is going to be completely shut down yes in far red light photosystem 2 is going to be completely shut down so technically speaking only photosystem 1 will be functional photosystem 1 will be functional that point is clear concept number 2 now the third concept which you need to understand is <clears throat> in light reaction there are two types light dependent rea light reaction that is cyclic and non cyclic light reaction there are two types cyclic and non cyclic and if you are aware under non cyclic <clears throat> if you are aware 
under non cyclic this is non cyclic photophosphorylation again if you're wondering how do you get this beautiful notes of non cyclic telegram channel bus for answer biology okay now here we have photo system 1 photo system 2 and photo system 1 both are present in the case of non cyclic and we just now decided that we just now know that photo system 2 will not be functional yes so can i completely disregard this yes it's disregarded so if photo system 2 is not working can we even consider non cyclic into the equation no non cyclic has been completely removed non cyclic cannot function in the far red light gone now students you need to understand here is but cyclic if you look at the cyclic photophosphorylation in cyclic photophosphorylation we only have ps1 yes there is only ps1 and in in ps1 which works at 7 nanometer yes will ps be functional at far red light yes it will be functional at far red light yes so this is going to be concept number 3 which you need to learn concept number 3 now students the question is asking you the question is asking you what are the products of your far, in presenting far red light so they're technically asking you what are the products in the cyclic photophosphorylation the products in cyclic photophosphorylation and they're also asking you the primary electron acceptor simple now the question answer is simple now if you look at the if you look at the beautiful notes under cyclic photophosphorylation the primary electron is going to be fes iron sulfur centers and the only product of your cyclic the only product of your cyclic photophosphorylation is only atp that is the answer but if they ask you non cyclic you should know also if they ask you non cyclic you should know the products of your non cyclic are atp nadph as well as oxygen is the byproduct of your cyclic primary electron acceptor of non -cy non cyclic is going to be pheophytin pheophytin is the primary electron acceptor of non cyclic but the question is asking you cyclic so here is the answer only atp fes only atp and fes which is the right answer which is given right here only atp and fes which in this question which i consider as the difficult question which requires you to think a little think a little let me know in the comment section if you are able to solve such questions and if you want more questions like this you know difficult questions which will make you think more right which will make you think more and analyze more and if you're starting your preparation right now if you're starting your preparation right now students and you do not know where to go how to get guidance Shreya sir and Diksha ma'am and other amazing teachers are coming to your city that is Delhi that is tomorrow 6th august 24 4 pm to 7 pm limited seats only i, I think I, I hope i'm not late to announce this because there are we've got so many entries already and enrollment is free that's why more entries and where is it going to be vedanta learning central janakpuri that janakpuri new delhi so if you're from delhi this video is for you this place is for you so if you want to meet shreya sir and diksha ma'am and gaurav sir there are many teachers are there so if you want to meet them and interact with them with them and also learn amazing strategies how to progress in your NEET 2025, this is the time for you. Do not wait any moment. Go on. Enroll. How do you enroll? Description link is there. Go enroll right now and take benefit of all this. As students, if you're able to solve such questions, if you want more questions like this, quickly smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Okay. So with that being said, I will meet you in my next video. Take care all of you.